Hello, thank you for joining my channel. I want to show you a little bit about playing the blues scale and talk about it because right now I'm putting together an instructional video in finer detail how to play. But I thought it'd be kind of cool just to give you a little bit of heads up of what's coming up. This is my Hammond B3. I'm going to play a little bit of the C blues with the C blues scale. And I just wanted to mention that the blues scale, even though it's a series of notes, those notes actually represent a language, a whole alphabet. And the blues scale is really not meant to be played like a linear scale. It's actually meant for those notes to be put together, right, in different variations to make sentences, to make a story. Improvising is telling a story. Playing the blues is telling a real blue story. So if you just play it straight, it sounds cool. But see, just by going back over, see, by going up to that F, it changes it from a scale to a... See how it's starting to change? It just doesn't sound like a scale. Those are notes. See, it's the blue scale. But see, by putting the notes together in different orders, you can start to make phrases. And sometimes no notes, little space. Now, obviously, I'm adding extra notes, so the blue scale is meant to be a language and an alphabet. But, you know, just like in our language, we have words that we introduce that have meaning that might not be part of the American dictionary, but they're a word that everybody knows, like sans, without, right? We just kind of automatically know it means that. So adding other color tones of the chord that you're playing to the improvising starts to add some other colors to it, other words to the sentences, right? So like for instance, it's a C7, so why not incorporate the E, right? So now I'm going to play a C blues lick, but I'm going to incorporate the E. Because it's C7. Now F7, I've got F, I've got A, and E flat. C. Now G is going to have the 3 and 7 of B and F. That's for F. Now I'm talking and explaining it, but let me play it now. C7. F. C7. Going to F. See, I'm still using a C blue scale, but some of the notes of F. Because it's C7, I have the option 
Sometimes just playing something in a, an arpeggiated. phrase it's just like when you write repeat a sentence over and over just to get somebody's attention right <laughs> pivot from that note of the C blue scale in a different way. Watch it again. So I just use that G. The dominant seven, I'm moving. I'm using this C as my, as my place of start, so as long as I keep returning to that, now it's familiar as, right, because you hear it, right? Now let me change it to a different note. How about G? Seven. Notice I'm accenting that note because it belongs to F. Now G, what I do, see the F is the G7 and the G. F7, C7. So I have these notes in common, both the root and the seven of the one, the four, and the five chord, see? That's going back over. Thanks for taking your time. Talk to you real soon.